Uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us today. For those of you who watched me do a demonstration a couple of hours ago, I'll try not to bore you with the same stuff. I'll try to get something new. Uh, it's a very honor to have uh, so many legendary martial artists with, here, with us here today. And since Ramana's idea was that Aikido is a much misunderstood martial art, uh, just like Silla, people look at it, they don't understand it, and then you find it. So, uh, what I'm going to try and do today is explain a little bit about why we do what we do and hopefully it makes sense to you and the art makes sense. Uh, Aikido has its origins in samurai, uh, samurai times and the idea was they taught Aikido to samurai who lost their weapons in combat and so the best way to defend against a sword was to see what another sword would do. Um, the sort of thing that you see where swords clash like this uh, would basically for movies. Most of the time when someone struck you, you deflected the move out of the way. Even though the swords are very strong, she had momentum on her side. And I either got out of the way and delivered a cut or I got uh, Aikido took these movements, Aikido took this timing and turned it into an empty handout. But more than that, the focus and the concentration and the mindset of the sword came into Aikido as well. Someone big like Nick, uh, I weigh about the same as one of these thighs. <laughs> and if you push, I, I really can't push back. If you push, I can go. Let go. If you 
and maintain the values that they present to us. That is to try and live with the other person, not destroy the other person. Understood. It's not about fighting, it's about learning body language, it's about learning how to control the distance between my partner and me, learning when to stand still, when to get out of the way, when to enter. Me lifting her and she 
pushing me. Me lifting her, her pushing me. And I think that's what modern day society needs. Rather than conflict, but working together. And that's why I think we can take our much stuff into the corporate world too. The corporate world doesn't want competition in the workplace. Competition with other competitors, okay. But in the workplace, they want to start to work together. And if you can find it in our martial arts and take it out there, then we're going to spread our martial arts even more. I think that's what we need to do. Uh, this is another thing that's greatly misunderstood in Aikido. They said, why don't you just hit him? That's not the object. This is not a fight, it's a demonstration. He's got all his power right there, and I can't move my arm. So, what I need to do is first break his balance. Oh! Then I need to move him. So, if you watch his feet, he starts to grip the mat with his toes. And that's me breaking his balance. Without him knowing. Oh! Another way of practicing is sometimes, and this is for Nizam, uh, we sit down here and he attacks us. I put myself at a disadvantage. It's almost like training with weights. So, I'm at a disadvantage. He's faster. I have to be able to move. Not when he grabs me, but as he grabs me. And as I start to move, I also have a bit of fun. Thank you very much. Thank you.